Okay, so I've been at this campground for about a week now. And maybe today is the day that my trip's gonna finally begin. But what I mean by that, it's just that, um, really haven't had that much fun yet. I mean, as far as, I've done a couple fun things, and it was kind of fun hanging around some of the people at this camp, and there was a few fun times, but, um, yeah, I haven't really actually done much fun yet, which, you know, I haven't really gone around. So I think today I'm gonna be able to go to Charleston. Um, okay, he was just giving me some trash bags to bring down to the, where I'm gonna go. But anyway, so that was, that's the guy, um, you didn't see my camera, but that was the guy who helped me fix the transmission. I mean, not the transmission, the alternator. And, um, you know, anyway, I mean, it was it was a really hard tr thing. And then there was a problem and it wasn't still charging. We kept going back and forth because I knew that the voltage had to be, you know, wasn't reading high enough. Anyway, and then I think finally me and the other guy found that it was the, besides the alternator being bad, also I guess one of the cables had come loose. Or, I mean, um, there was a break in the line someplace. So anyway, so, and then, and then I had Charlie, Charlie was sick, had to take him to the vet and stuff. And I mean, he seems better today now, but um, maybe stick around Charleston for a while, especially because with, maybe with Charlie, I don't want to travel with him a lot. So kind of, maybe I might, so I might stick around this, um, in, at this camp, or at least in this forest. I think we, we may have to move because of the 14 day rule pretty soon, you know, to a different place, but yeah. So anyway, okay, here we are coming into, Buck Hall Recreational Area. Okay, paid the parking pass fee. It's one of those ones like where you put the money in the envelope and then it took me a while to find a pen. So yeah, here's the, you can see that marshy area there and this is, um, This is an intercoastal waterway. So it's this whole waterway that goes up and down the, in case you're not familiar with it, up all up and down the Atlantic coast, the East Coast, um, and all these different barrier islands. And the places where basically boats can go, like where you're not on the main ocean, it's more like sheltered and stuff, you know? A lot of sailboats go through here and stuff. And, um, and you can see there's like that marshy area out there, and that's kind of like where, um, you know, it leads out to the ocean. There's Okay, I dumped my trash there. If I can find, oh, it looks good. It looks like there's a little shady spot I could park. So it's like I leave Charlie in the car when I go take a shower. That's good. Okay, got my shower. Now I feel a lot better. Now I'm just gonna go here and, um, nice looking waterway there, huh? Okay, so I filled up my water at that spigot and There isn't, it's mostly, I mean, it's bulk stuff, it's not like a container for But mostly dilute, it's the um, iron. So yeah, it looks like it's low tide there. You can see that area there that's. Good. Oh yeah. Especially for me, the more people are out, the more money I'll make. Oh okay, yeah, this customs house. I think I was down here the other night, yeah. Looks like there's one in. Three ships in. Alright. Ooh, they opened this IHOP finally. Go ahead and just go around that gourmet food truck.
didn't even look. We're too, <laughs> we're too high flute to even look back. <laughs> <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah, I got into some conversations with a guy from Minnesota and I was coming down from rest stop. Can I try it when you first got to run out there? Oh, uh, don't tell me this one's full. Oh, shit. Well, we just saw a couple people leave, so I mean, it seems like... do this again tomorrow we're gonna have to be out early. Do for Sunday to do the boat thing. We'll see like it's you know Charlie Poo. No fun just driving around like this. Well, I mean, it's kind of fun, but it's not. I'd rather be parked, huh? Let's see if this one is. Wait. Uh. we are home to the largest carriage in the city in the United States. We got we only got about 20 carriers on our street. off to um, go to his busking corner. Didn't seem like he wanted to be fouling him too much, so anyway. Yeah, there's my buddy, buddy playing recorder with his cat. I'll ask him if he's okay with putting me on the film. City market. 1807. Oh, here we are down the water by the water here. Charleston. Nice day out here. Feels real nice. Hey Charlie. Charlie in the background here. Hey buddy. We are down here by where the water taxi looks. This is where we saw those dolphins last year, but apparently not out here right now. Go, Charlie. Walk out the street here. So this was I came here last year with my dad and his and some of my other family members.
you know. Really nice street here. Very scenic. Okay, now it's Saturday. It's rainy. I'm in this tent here with the tarp. Okay, this is actually a tent that I found in the woods here. It was something that the guys told me it was been abandoned. Someone just left it here because the zipper's broken, but it's worked okay like this. Um, and then also they left the air mattress, so I might be, I don't know, I might tonight, I might sleep on this, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just kinda got my shelter set up here for um, today with this tarp and stuff, and then, um, then tomorrow then I'll, I'm gonna leave a lot of this a lot of the stuff that's maybe just like a pain in the butt being in the vehicle makes it hard to find stuff um just kind of leave it in here but nothing nothing real expensive just kind of like the cheaper stuff nothing like no expensive electronics maybe that that's not worth much like keyboard so anyway and then um so yeah I had fun yesterday and now I'm just kind of like um hanging down hunker down for the rain I kind of getting camp set up here probably I'm thinking now staying like another week down here and so I could just kind of like now that I got this camp set up here, it'd be easy to um, go visit different places in the Charleston area. Um, you know, it, it won't be that hard just to like unhook that tarp from the van as long as I kind of park it in the same spot each time. I can, you know, I can just kind of unhook that tarp there, you know, and then leave this tent here. So anyway, talk to you later.